For the first time, revealing details from whistleblowers behind a federal corruption case. A state politician and his brother and a local businessman at the center of the investigation. It's a case we've been following for you since it first broke on Friday. And tonight, only NBC4's Hetty Chang and the NBC4i team uncovered information about an insurance fraud claim connected to this political scandal. Hetty is live right now in Orange with more on the story for us. Hetty? the whistleblowers talked with us in Orange County where he now lives and he says that a few years ago when he started his job as a sales rep in the medical industry he noticed something right away that something wasn't quite right and he says that the person at the top the top dog as he calls him is a former hospital executive Michael Drobot. As soon as Mark Cersansi began his supposed sales job in the medical field, red flags started immediately. Cersansi is one of two whistleblowers named in this civil lawsuit, alleging the scandal involving former Pacific Hospital of Long Beach owner Michael Drobot ran rampant. The suit alleges doctors were recruited to push workers' comp patients to have spinal surgeries done, where hospitals overcharge for operations at medical devices, which in many cases were counterfeit. Cersansi says Drobot and his associates bullied their employees to keep quiet about their scheme. These guys are absolute thugs. We had instances in where they actually came to my home, three of them, and threatened me. It was, according to the suit, an elaborate web of conspirators that included now-closed Pacific Hospital of Long Beach, Tri-City Hospital, whose former CEO has since been investigated and removed, medical hardware distributors, and doctors who collected on illegal kickbacks. Attorney Justin Berger shows this invoice, an exhibit in the suit that totals $24,000. These are bribes to get these surgeons to do surgeries at the, this hospital with this particular hardware. And, and much of this hardware, if not all of it, we believe was counterfeit. Insurance fraud investigator Bill Reynolds, the other whistleblower, says the scheme built the state's workers' compensation system out of millions and put thousands at risk. We have obtained records now uh, that could generate anywhere from 10 to 15,000 surgeries uh, nationally. Michael Drobot, who the suit alleges is a key player in the scheme, has entered a plea agreement in the sweeping corruption scandal involving State Senator Ron Calderon and has agreed to assist the government in its investigation. There's a bit of vindication. Tri-City Medical Group is under new management, but the officials there did send us a statement calling this lawsuit completely meritless.